since the beginning of the Syrian war, there has been a large influx of Syrian refugees to Europe, and Sweden has been one of the main recipient countries. And this has caused some difficulties for Sweden to provide them housing, employment, and, and schooling. For example, uh, civic integration programs in Sweden were initially designed for uh, 16,000 people, but it is already estimated that for next year, 85,000 people will be participating in them. Municipalities are buying apartments uh, because there is, enough, you know, there is not enough housing, and they are building schools. And finally, there is 125,000 unresolved asylum claims. Before the Syrian war, asylum seekers had to wait for about three months before they got an answer. And these days, they may have to wait for up to one year. In the meantime, they can, uh, housing is provided for them, but, but they can also uh, live with friends, relatives, and they are allowed to work. But uh, their employment rate is below 1% among them, actually. Both these issues, the high numbers and Sweden's capacity to integrate them uh, at institutions, for example, at schools, it's, they are creating some uh, tensions also in, uh, among the long-term residents of the country. So another related issue is the deficiency of Swedish integration policies, and especially those uh, addressing the job market of newly arrived immigrants. There are several questions related to this issue. The first one is that uh, the Swedish job market is related to highly skilled jobs, and often there is a mismatch between uh, new, newly arrived immigrants' uh, skills and those needed in the, in the job market in Sweden. But also um, experts in the field say that uh, civic integration policies in uh, Sweden, which provide language training, um, civic and uh, job market orientation for newly arrived uh, refugees and their families, uh, they need to be individualized and also more connected to the job market. My research looks at the job market integration of um, immigrants in Sweden and also at their intermarriage uh, patterns. I find that um, newly arrived immigrants and especially refugees are not doing as well as uh, natives and other kind of uh, type of migrants in Sweden. Several reasons uh, are behind these differences. Lower human capital, discrimination and non-familiarity with the Swedish market rules, etc. Some of the reasons why they seem to be doing less well um, is lower education, language barrier, lack of connections in the, in the host country. I also look at in the intermarriage between uh, immigrants and natives and how this affects the um, employment opportunities. I find that immigrants, including refugees who are married to natives, they have uh, higher employment rates and hi higher income. So the lessons from my work are that uh, refugees are not doing as well in the job market as um, other type of immigrants, but intermarried refugees are doing better than uh, those who marry other immigrants because close relationships with uh, native people, like it is marriage or friendship, um, increases their uh, access to local networks, their language abilities, etc. And this in turn helps them better integrate in the Swedish society. <laughs>